Ever wondered how to make your study sessions more effective? The answer is note-taking, but not just any note-taking. We are talking about strategic note-taking. Imagine you're a detective and your study material is the crime scene. You wouldn't just wander around aimlessly, right? You'd scrutinize every detail, jot down clues and piece together the puzzle. That's precisely what strategic note-taking is all about. Like a good detective, effective note-taking helps you pick up on important points, making sense of the information and retaining it for future use. It enhances your understanding, improves recall and saves you time during revision. Yes, you heard it right. Good note-taking can turn hours of revision into minutes. It's like having a secret weapon in your study arsenal, a tool that can make the difference between a good grade and a great one. So, what are these magical note-taking methods? Stick around to find out. First up, we have the Cornell note-taking method. It's not just for Ivy Leaguers, you know. The Cornell method is a systematic format for condensing and organizing your scribbles. Picture your paper divided into three sections. At the top, you have the cues section. This is where you'll jot down questions or keywords after the lecture, serving as a quick reference for future study sessions. The main body of the page is the notes section, where you'll write your notes during the lecture. Here, you unleash the power of your pen, capturing the essence of the lecture in your own words. Finally, at the bottom of the page, we have the summary section. After the lecture, you'll condense your notes into a concise summary. This section is like the too long didn't read version of your notes. With the Cornell method, you're not just taking notes. You're creating a study guide as you learn. If the Cornell method seems a bit too structured for your taste, you might prefer the outline method. It's like creating a roadmap of your thoughts, a hierarchical structure that neatly arranges your main topics, subtopics and supporting details. You start with a broad concept at the top and then you branch out adding layers of detail as you delve deeper into the topic. Imagine you're studying the human body. Your main topic could be the circulatory system. Underneath this, you'd have subtopics like the heart, blood vessels, blood flow. Within these subtopics, you can add more details. It's a clear, linear approach that works wonderfully when the lecture content is heavy and well organized. Now the outline method is a treat for linear learners. It provides a logical sequence, making it easier to connect the dots and see how ideas relate. And the cherry on top? With the outline method, your notes are organized from the get-go. No more hunting for that one crucial point amidst a sea of scribbles. Finally, for the more visually inclined, we have mind maps. Now, these aren't your regular maps that lead you to a treasure chest or a secret hideout, but they definitely lead you to a treasure trove of knowledge. Here's how they work. You start with a central idea, Think of it as the heart of your map. This could be the main topic of your lecture or a concept you're trying to understand. Now, draw branches from this heart, each representing a related idea or subtopic. It's like drawing roads that connect different towns. These branches can further branch out, representing specifics or details of the related ideas. Now imagine each branch as a path leading to a specific destination. The beauty of mind maps is their flexibility. They can grow and evolve as your understanding of the topic expands. With mind maps, you're creating a visual representation of the information which can make it easier to remember and understand. So next time you're faced with a complex topic, why not give mind maps a try? So there you have it. Three effective note-taking techniques to make your study sessions a breeze. We kicked things off with the Cornell note-taking technique, a savvy system that splits your page into three sections for cues, notes and summaries. It's like a three-course meal for your brain, but with zero calories. Then we dove into the outline method, a structured approach that's all about main points and subpoints. It's like creating a roadmap for your thoughts, and who doesn't love a good map? Finally, we explored the world of mind maps, a creative technique that lets your ideas branch out freely. It's like turning your brain into a tree, just without the squirrels. Each of these techniques has its unique benefits. Good note-taking can boost your comprehension, help you remember more, and make studying less of a chore. So why not give them all a try and see which one works best for you? Remember, effective note-taking is a skill that can be mastered. So pick up that pen, start taking notes, and see the difference it makes in your studies. If you have found this content useful, please give it a like, share with others who may find it useful, and hit the subscribe button for more learning tips.